That's a great shot. Straight down the ground. That'll be four. Into the fence it goes. And so that's the second boundary of the day's play. A lovely straight drive. Not a great start for Phil Newport. Not a good start. And Mark Taylor picking this loose delivery up perfectly. Full face of the bat. Straight down the ground. Four runs going to the score. It's a beautiful shot. That's well played. Beautiful shot through extra cover. Taylor not even bothering to run. Into the fence she goes. And the Aussies now beginning to look very confident. They are two beautiful drives from Mark Taylor and not a good start for Phil Newport in his first test. A lovely cover drive. Foot to the pitch of the ball. Full face of the bat. It's a lovely shot. He's hit three really good drives so far in in this innings and that was the third one they've all gone for boundaries beautifully placed when the Australians are under pressure young Mark Taylor's got to the pitch of the ball and found the gap just a fraction over pitched by De Freitas he was on it as quick as a flash and found the gap got it away and that's his half century two. And I think this Yorkshire crowd appreciating it. There's the odd Aussie flag out there being waved as well. And so Mark Taylor has made a half century in this, the first test match in this Ashes series. Very, very well played too. What a great shot there from Mark Taylor. He had hit three magnificent uh, drives for four. That makes it number four, and I think that was the best of them. A lovely shot. Derek Pringle over pitching a little bit wide. Mark Taylor dispatching it to the boundary. Brings up the 150 for Australia. Great shot. That's the fifth one he's hit through there. Very strong in that area, Mark Taylor. Takes him along to 75. Australia 2 for 164. It's four. It's in the air. The roar of the crowd. Signal for one moment they thought Gower might have got it. But significant perhaps that Gower seem to go up there with uh, what you might term is good arm to try and take the catch Mark Taylor has been particularly strong in that area it's gone for that that's a great shot beautiful hook shot away for four wow that was a shot of a batsman of class and concentration it was short he was in position quickly and he whipped it away for four well, it takes Mark Taylor to 89, and I reckon it might encourage him to just look for the century tonight. Defection's fine, racing away towards the boundary, wait for the call. Four runs, and that's 100. Well played, Mark Taylor, the leg man, bringing up the hundreds. A wonderful achievement for the young lad, 24 years of age, 100 in his first test match on England soil. Oh, this is fantastic. Yorkshiremen appreciate how great it must feel for this young man. He would feel a million dollars. A century in his first appearance against Australia, against England, and that is a great achievement. Beautifully driven through cover. Race. Newport over pitching and pays the penalty. Listen, that ball never swung one iota. The only place it swung off was the meat of the bat. Straight to the boundary at extra cover. Magnificent shot that by Taylor. Have a look at it. Not really a half volley, but um, no swing at all. Straight through the gap down to the boundary. Very good shot. So Taylor now onto 109. Jones 23. Three down for 234. Australia looking good. Here he goes again. That's four more. Beautifully played, Mark Taylor. Fate is giving up the chase. Glorious cover drive. Well, this is the second major decision Gower's had to make, and I really am quite surprised. I don't want to harp on the subject, but the ball was swinging. 
and uh, all of a sudden now it's going through as straight as a die and have a look at that oh and there he goes again great shot he's looking a million dollars tremendous cover drive the ball rattling into the pickets down there at extra cover and this fellow taylor really is looking superb 123 he's got now and it's three down for 248. phil de Freitas has come into the attack and uh, he's been welcome to the crease with another boundary so mark taylor really starting to uh, flourish now he's moved along to 127. Uh, it's a nice shot he plays so straight at the moment mark taylor uh, ball's running away downhill there. Chris Broad, the fielder. Well, they're going to have a little conjecture there. Umpire David Shepherd will be asking the fielder if it uh, touched the rope. I don't know, Chris Broad says. The voices in the background you can hear shouting for the Australian supporters and uh, they're given a mark of approbation by David Shepard. Now that's the replay, Chris Broad got his foot to it and it just goes on to the rope. Now it's a good effort but the ball does run away down the hill there. Just coming back to uh, to David Byrne, well, right, we'll agree that perhaps David uh, you had to play it, this is the bowler who dismissed you. LBW. Mark Taylor judged LBW. That must have been decided by umpire David Shepard as a ball that pitched in line with the stumps. Not always easy for a right arm pace bowler to get an LBW decision. It has to land in line with the stumps and then go on and hit the stumps. Mark Taylor, a standing ovation for him from this knowledgeable Headingley crowd. teammates in the pavilion and applause a few moments ago too from the England team the 15th Australian to make a century on debut against England the ninth Australian to do it in the first innings and this is how he was dismissed perhaps uh, a moment of ill judgment there but a marvelous innings from Mark Taylor four for 273 Those, uh, they saw the innings uh, what were their thoughts last night well, my father was delighted. My mother was a little bit, uh, wasn't all that happy because I, I was four short of 100 and she thought oh, I could have done the right thing, got four more <laughs> runs and saved her worrying about it last night. But uh, now they're both very pleased. Uh, they're over here touring around for about uh, four or five weeks. So they're very pleased to be here and see my first test century.